Both parties to the conflict in eastern Ukraine stick to the silence regime declared a week ago, and this has been confirmed by lower tensions and no new reports of casualties, the Defense Ministry of the Donetsk People's Republic said on Tuesday. The truce holds there has been no use of heavy weaponry, the ministry said in a statement quoted by the Donetsk news agency. Ukrainian Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk appealed to the European Union for urgent financial aid on Monday, saying the government was doing all it could to fix a shattered economy but needed help. But asked when Ukraine needed new financial assistance, Yatsenyuk told reporters in Brussels, let me put it in a nutshell, yesterday. Tactical aircraft of North Atlantic Alliance states more than doubled flight intensity near borders of Russia and Belarus this year. Overall number of flights by NATO tactical aircraft in regions bordering Russia and Belarus has more than doubled to exceed 3,000 in 2014 against 2013, Chief Commander of Russian Air Force Colonel General Viktor Bandarov told reporters on Tuesday. Also, the United States and NATO states have made flights of their spy planes much more intensive this year, particularly in the Baltic states. The number of flights make from 8 to 12 per week, the general added. Meanwhile, Republicans and Democrats spoke with one voice Monday impressing President Barack Obama to sign legislation that would slap new sanctions on Russia while providing weapons and other assistance to Ukraine. The legislation would require the President to impose penalties on state-owned arms dealer Rossoboron Expert and other Russian defense companies tied to unrest in Ukraine, Moldova, Georgia and Syria. The sanctions would be extended to individuals and entities that help the companies. The bill also would give the president the authority to provide lethal and non-lethal military assistance to Ukraine. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.